Hey, what's up, good people? Happy Gunner 23 here, and we are back with another gun review. As you can see, we are going to be reviewing the Heritage Rough Rider. If you haven't seen it or heard of it, this will be a good video for you to watch. It's a good beginner shooter for anybody getting into the, the gun game. So, if you can't already tell, it's going to be chambered in 22 long rifle. Okay, I will show you what those bullets look like in a second, but here is the revolver. Heritage Rough Rider. Single action revolver, chambered in 22 long rifle, six shot cylinder. This thing is a beauty, look at that. So cool. This, this is a pretty simple firearm. Nothing too complicated about this. So let's just start from the basics, okay? Single action revolver. So single action means you have to pull the hammer back in order to fire, okay? And you heard four clicks. I will show you what that means. So with this revolver, in order for the cylinder to move, you're gonna have to click the hammer back twice. And that allows you to move the cylinder, okay? Like so. And then when you move the cylinder like this, you're able to open the loading gate right here. And you can insert your rounds. And it holds six rounds. Okay. Close your loading gate. And then the cool thing about this revolver is it has kind of like a safety. So here is, uh, it's like a hammer block safety right here. Okay, so right now it's the safety is on. If I flip this switch down, you see a little red dot? There is a little block that's in there that will prevent the hammer from hitting the firing pin once it's engaged. You see it? It kind of moved in place right there. Let's do it again. And it's off. You see that? That's just a hammer block. It's a pretty cool little feature on this. Some people don't like it, but I don't have a problem with it. You just gotta remember to take off that safety when you're ready to shoot. But yeah, it is a single action revolver. So we have this the hammer block on. See? And it blocked the hammer from hitting the firing pins. So that's a little cool little feature that has. And so if you're getting ready to load rounds in here, once again, click the hammer back twice, open your loading gate. Here is your ejector rod right here. Okay. And you can see that. It will just be you know, six times for all the rounds you have in there. Okay. And that's it. Nothing to it. Pretty simple, guys. But this thing is a beauty. Look at that. Just the... The craftsmanship that it takes to put these things together, that's pretty cool. It's not a piece of plastic. You can tell it has a little weight to it, so it's, it's, uh, it's, there's metal in there, so you can tell it's sturdy. I like this thing. I already took it to the range to break it in and test it out. So I will attach some footage of that later on, so you can see how it fires. Yeah, look at that. Very good looking revolver. And the box comes with, of course, your instructions right here. And then your cable lock, which no one ever uses. And then it also comes with another cylinder. So it's not only chambered in 22 long rifle, it's also chambered in 22 Magnum. So you can switch the cylinder out and have more fun with that other round if you want. Or if you only have 22 Magnum, you can use that instead of 22 long rifle. Cool little feature. I got this on Palmetto State Armory on their website. That's only like $150 for this thing. So I couldn't turn that deal down. You know, I, I don't have a 22 little blinker, so I figured I'd get one. I have a rifle, but not a revolver or a pistol and 22 long rifle. So yeah, I just had to get it. Not too big of a purchase. This thing is so cool. Let's get the box out of the way. Show you all the sights, just standard, you know metal sights so the, the front post is just a metal sight right there and then here it's just there there's an indention on top of the 
the revolver there. You just line it up like so. Pretty accurate. I was getting those metal plates at the range like nothing. This thing is very, very accurate. One more time, we'll mess with the hammer. Yes. If you don't have one of these guys, I recommend to get one. If you want to show somebody how to shoot, this is a good beginner weapon to get accustomed to. Or if you just want to conserve your your big boy rounds and shoot the little 22 long rifle bullets to still get your repetitions and practice in, that's a good way to get it, go about it also. And just to show y'all what the 22 long rifle bullets look like, very small. Look at that. That's all it is. Right there. That's how small the bullet is. And these are very popular rounds. They are finally starting to get really cheap again, so I got quite a few boxes at my local gun store. See, it's a hollow point. So this is a box of 400, and I got it for about 35 bucks. Not a bad deal. And you never know if something crazy is about to happen again and people start buying up shit like crazy. You gotta be prepared. Now's the best time to start buying ammo if you can. Start saving a little bit, but you gotta have fun too. So go, go out to the range, use your firearms, and enjoy them. Look at that. Mm-mm. Just a work of art. That's what it is. Work of art. Yeah, just thought I'd drop in to make a quick video, guys. Y'all take care. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please support the channel. And y'all let me know if y'all have any fun blinksters, 22 long rifle weapons, rifles, way I like to shoot for fun. Drop a comment below. All right. Catch y'all later.